Welcome to the Gamescape, everybody. My name is Jarek, and today we're back in Phoenix Point. This is episode 78 of our playthrough today. And in our previous episode, we were able to successfully defend the Sinedrian Haven. We got there with just a sliver of their uh, timer left before the Haven was destroyed. Uh, ran in there. We ran into a uh, Sila Hegemon, which was very tough. The sonic blast, the sonic scream that those things have is a very large cone. And it's just an automatic, you know, just an automatic daze for anybody who isn't immune to daze. And it's uh, it's 30 sonic damage, which means it'll daze you if you have 30 will points or less. And that's all of your soldiers, basically. So nothing you can do about it. And it's a big wide cone. So we were fighting most of that battle with half of our soldiers at every given turn because uh, the rest of them were just sitting there dazed. And but we got the job done. Uh, the silo got away. He ran. He started. She started to run when we got her down to half health and she took off. And we were able to clean up the rest of the haven. So um, that's what it is. Uh, but in doing so, we revealed this citadel up here. So we're going to have to go take care of that as well. I want to get the alpha team heading south uh, because the Helioses are here. Uh, we've gotten alpha team transferred over to the new Helioses, so the Manticore is freed up. It's actually going to do just a hair, a little bit of trading up here, and then we're going to send it back over here to Phoenix Bravo to pick up the mutoids that are sitting there, and then we're going to have it come back and rejoin with the bounty hunters. Uh, at least that's the tentative plan. And so the bounty hunters are down here doing a little exploring and I'm going to let them finish exploring the site and I'm going to get them heading north because the bounty hunter, the uh, alpha team's heading south and the bounty hunters are going to have to defend up here. Ultimately, what I'd like to do, since Bravo is right over here, I would like Bravo and the bounty hunters to meet up and handle this citadel and then maybe open this Alaska base. Uh, they don't need to both be there for that, probably. But um, I definitely want the eight man team going into the citadel if we can help, if we can get it. In the meantime, um, we've got two more sites opening up here, ancient sites that are being excavated. This one is a crystal, living crystal quarry, which we already have one of. So what that'll do is if we take this one, we'll now start getting for living crystal, we'll start getting 10 per hour instead of five. Uh, so that would be fine if we do that. And then this one is the living crystal lapidary, which is the one that you need for uh, actually building stuff with li living crystal. So that just leaves us with one more site to find, and that is the Protean Mutane uh, Forge, whatever it is. I don't remember the name of it exactly, but whichever one it is that allows you to build stuff with Protean Mutane is the last one that we have. We don't have any probes right now, and we've got a bunch of stuff in manufacture for our mutoids. So we're going to have a day or two of, uh, of manufacturing going on here to get those uh, other two mutoids kitted out. But after that's done, I'm going to throw in. So in fact, you know what? I might as well just do it while I'm thinking about it here. Um, let's get the probes in and we're going to need several, eight more. I think that was eight, seven or eight. I don't know. That's okay. Uh, so we'll get those queued up too. And when they come out, then we'll go ahead and start searching for, uh, the last site that we need. Um, what I'm thinking is we're right next to a base here with with Bravo. They're heading here to do a little trade. I think I'm going to have them come here, do a trade, and then I think I'm going to bring them up here and I think we're going to open up this base. Now it is infested, so we're going to have to go in there and force and take them out, but I, I don't think Bravo's going to have any problems with that, honestly. I think it's going to be just fine. And so I think maybe that's what the plan is going to be for them. Uh, we're going to finish this here. Uh, the Helioses I want heading down to here. They're going to make a quick stop there and get uh, everybody healed up that needs to be healed up and rested up. And then they're heading south and we're finally going to get down here. We're going to knock out the corrupted lair and then we're going to head down here. We're going to take on the Bionic Fortress and the uh, to Antarctica mission, uh, which both of these are. Well, this will this will resolve the pure uh, plot line. Uh, from the Blood and Titanium DLC. And then this one will give us access to Virophage, which is what we need to kill the Behemoth, which will resolve the Festering Skies uh, DLC. So we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Um, while the Bounty Hunters are doing their thing, uh, another site that we're going to want to run soon is this one and get the Rebuke. That is the Ancient's Grenade Launcher, which is really, really good. It's 80 damage, as I recall, instead of 60 that our current grenade launchers have, and it doesn't use ammo, so you can just keep chucking those grenades all the time. It's it's really, really a nice piece of equipment. 
Uh, it takes a lot of protein mutane to build one at 350, I think, or something like that, if I remember right. Uh, I might be wrong about that. I could be remembering wrong. But uh, at any rate, we're going to need that. So anyway, uh, I think we've got pretty much everybody. Uh, Charlie's going to be rolling down here to open this base, too. They're not going to get there today, I don't think, because I think, bro, I think, honestly, this is probably the mission we're going to end up doing today. So we're going to do a little trade here real quick. Uh, I want to get all of your tech because we have a ton of food all of your sorry all of your materials we have a ton of food there and then let's go ahead and get them up here um i'm gonna go ahead and activate this base uh what do we got here uh dead research lab that's about it but that's okay because we need radar coverage is the big thing that we need for everywhere so all right excavation completed down here we'll roll back and get that at some point PH1, PHB1 is going to be attacked by Pandorans. Uh, we don't care. <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> so you know what? You guys just knock yourselves out on that base. That is perfectly okay. All right, let's get a trade here. Get some, uh, get some tech traded off for some more materials. And then... I think we can stop here and then we'll head out to uh north america and here we go oh the doom kingdom this is the bounty hunters our operatives are set down in what looks like an abandoned compound the concrete walls have been breached and there's old blood stains all over the gray cement we're gonna search an old journal found by one of our operatives suggests it was an, an independence movement by all accounts, the people who lived here declared themselves a country and tried to fight off the government forces who came to arrest them. Looks like it didn't work. We get 200 tech, 100 materials. Nice haul. All right. Bounty hunters are due for a minute of rest, too. All right. Here we go. We are at Summerall Memorial Base, and we are going in. This is a corrupted area, obviously, with Pandorans. So let's get uh, let's have a look here. All right, the corruption isn't bad on Ivan. We're going to get to two of, of 11. Uh, he's still going to be okay. Uh, he can have a helmet mount. That's fine. Let's see, you are going to be short of weight, so I can't put a uh, Mr. Pillar on you. You have one of 12. You're going to be at two of 12. That's going to give you 10. That's still that's still three quick aims. I think that's okay. All right. Uh, Camila. Camila, 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 Camila. Let's see what you got here. Your full weight. You have one of 11. Okay, that's fine. Camila is going to be... Grenade launcher is going to be less useful in here. But she's got her Deceptor. So that is okay. Uh, she cannot have a back mount, I don't believe. No. No, Juggernaut Torso can't have mounts, which is weird. You would think that you could mount anything you wanted to a torso that size, but apparently that's not the case. So it's okay. Um, nine points. What do we got for nine points? Uh, she's getting up to where she could start looking at bloodlust or ignore pain. Both of those are excellent abil all all of these are excellent abilities, to be honest. She needs just more points, that's all. <laughs> uh, all right, Ernst, you're up. You have lots and lots of ammo for your hawk, which is good. Um, do I want to get rid of one of those and give you a mist repeller? I think I do. Not that this. I think you're okay with two extra magazines for the Hawk instead of three. That'll be all right. And you got five points, nothing much to spend those on. Uh, Carlos, you have, you're down a turret, but that's okay. Uh, you've got enough room for a mist repeller until you get a new turret, which is fine. Isabella, you are good to go, it looks like. You've got your beat stick, you've got your assault rifle, and your, dis your grenade launcher. I don't see anything else, really, that you need, necessarily. Um, it would be nice. You've got 10 points. Oh, so many things. Um, so many things that you could use. 
more willpower being one of them. Um, I'm going to cure you. Because you're... You need five points to activate this. So I want to make sure that you're going to have plenty of willpower because I suspect you're going to, your services are going to be needed in this fight, I suspect. Um, 10 points. 16 if we dip everything out of the pool. That could get another point of speed for her, which I don't know if that would help us too much. Could also get her another point of strength, which she could use. Could also get her another willpower point, which she could also use. Could get her dash, which we know she could use as well. In fact, dash might come into play here. Um, we are indoors. Why don't we get her dash? I think that's good. All right. And Ivan, we're back to Ivan. All right. So that's going to be okay. I think I'm going to call it that good. Everybody else, I think, was good for uh, for not needing to have their corruption cured. So I'm going to bring us into the mission, and I'll bring you guys back right after the loading screen. We'll see you in just a moment. All right. Here we are in the mission, everybody. We have no line of sight on anybody. We're in the dock area, as you would expect. Let's have Ernst give us a little... Uh, little scout. All right, here we go. We got eyes on a worm and an Arthron. Where's the worm? He's... Oh, they're both right up there. That's perfect. Uh, can you shoot from here? You can with your light rifle. Don't have a line of sight. That's fine. We can just uh, keep scouting. Let's pull him up to here. See if we can get eyes on anything else. Okay, here's a uh, Dragon Prime over here. He can't see us. Nothing else to speak of up there, Ernst. Why don't you just uh, maybe park around the corner here and just call that good for right now. Don't know if we can get anywhere to where we can get eyes on that dragon over here and get shots on him necessarily. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, there's no way. This bay is pretty open um, and into this bay is okay, but the rest of it is ceilings everywhere. In fact, I think you can shoot and yeah, maybe not. Sometimes you can put stuff over this over this little wall section here. I don't remember if that was a grenade would make it over, if it had to be the scarabs uh, missiles. I had scarabs in a base defense once, and that was the absolutely only thing they were able to do. Um, all right, so we're going to do this. Uh, we're not going to get to where we can get... That guy in line of sight so what we're going to do is we're just going to have some overwatches here and just let him run into the meat grinder um let's move her here Let's just do that for now. And oh, Ivan's over here. Ivan can move up to here, get a little higher angle and also have a shot down here. Okay. And I don't think everybody will get to shoot. I think he'll run through there faster than that. 
No, he's not even going to come into it, of course. Well, that's not fun. Oh, hello. It's not expecting him to be hiding over there. Yeah, they're going to destroy our whole base before we can get in there to stop them. But that's okay. That is okay. We've got money to rebuild it. Okay. Isabella, go beat this guy. Where'd you go? Go back into here. Where did he go? There he is right here behind this crate. Of course, the one thing that was blocking Ivan's shot stayed up. Shake it, baby. I have no idea if we're hurting that guy or not. I mean, we're hurt. We're hitting him for sure. Still alive. But. Not doing enough. He's, uh, I, well, I mean, maybe we have done enough. I, I don't know is the problem. You have a grenade. You do have a grenade. Let's just do this. That was a kill. There we go. Finally got him. All right, that's everybody but Ernst. Ernst is going to poke his head out here, see what he can see.
wonder where our Arthron went. I don't know, but I don't want to stand there in the entrance to find out. Okay, next turn. Doran's shooting up all of our uh, machinery. Nothing I can do about that. We'll get there when we get there. <laughs> There's a tire down here. <laughs> Funny. All right. Oh, gosh. Taking a bunch of damage. Um, torso armor is gone. We'll be able to repair some of that. That was the only spot that we, uh, took the hit with the acid at least. All right, let's have another look here. Okay, Ernst, you're going to... It tight there. Nobody can see you. Be right there. Any shot here? Uh, no, because we already went too far. Okay, sit tight there. Actually, can you cross? You can't. Okay. Okay, let's have a shield to move move too far never mind just sit tight then they can't stop me Good enough um all right yes you're gonna run to here. And Isabella, I don't want to bring you back to here and let's see next turn if Carlos can do anything to help out with your little armor problem here. There aren't that many things in this base. I just, they're so far in that I can't get to them effectively in a reasonable amount of time. I mean, they're going to have the entire base trashed before I get to them. That's just what it is. We're just going to have to rebuild it. It's fine. Okay, this guy's going to maybe come out and play next. Oh, he's an Umbra. Okay. We'll have to deal with that. That's a really poor shot. That's better. Good. Let's get cover over here. I know there's a dude up here. Let's get over here. All right, 
Carlos, what can you do for Isabella? Easy enough. Arms? Can do a technician heal. Store 10 points and 10 armor to all body parts. That's kind of what needs needed. Uh, she could use a heal too, actually. That'll have to wait till next turn. Ivan, get up here. Um, Isabella, once you get up here where you're ready to move, Carlos can walk up and help you out again next turn before you go anywhere. I don't know if Carlos can actually do much for you, but we'll see. Um, how are you looking at this point? So 10 left, 10 armor back. Torso's down a few hit points. That's the way it is. Okay, fine. Um, good enough then. And you're done. Light him up. And a bunch of shots into the rail. That's okay. Um, you know what, though? We're going to have a little bit of an issue because... Okay, here comes a mind fragger. That's new. And a marksman is also new. And there's another marksman. And a brute champion. Really? And also an Umbra. Okay, this is a lot of Umbras to deal with. What are we looking at for paralyzing weapons? Bravo's team doesn't have much for paralyzing weapons. I can make a difference. In fact, I don't think they have any. I mean, Isabella can get in there. She'll have to do one leap, but that's easy enough. She can get in there. She can kill all these guys. That's two Umbras that I'm going to have to deal with. I can kill them. Uh, Camila can war cry them and then we can back off. And that'll give them two action points is all. I think that's the play. Um, we're going to have to probably deal with the two Umbras, but we can deal with the two Umbras. All right. So before we do that, we're going to come here. I'm going to do one more med. Can't do a heal, though. Okay. That's it for Carlos. All right. Isabella, you got one, two, th two to here. A leap will get you into range to start attacking, and then it's just game over. Okay, let's do rapid clearance. Let's have a leap to here. Get out the beat stick and let him have it. Okay. I'll move to here. Another attack. Okay, there's the Umbra coming in. That's fine. Knew about that. Not worried about it. Beat this guy. Oh, he didn't die. That's a problem.
That's a semi-major problem. Oh, you know what, though? Because she can actually um, grant a few more action points here. All right. Much better. All right. Finish him. Okay. Finish your move to here. Beat this guy down. That's another Umbra coming in. Okay. Come to here. Beat this guy. Second hit. Dropped us a raven. Yeah, nice. You don't have quick pickup, do you? No. Come here. Beat the mind fragger. And that's going to be about it. Let's have an overwatch. This way. Okay. Camila, you're going to give me a war cry. And then everybody's going to back up. Ivan, why don't you give Camila or give Matilda, Rebecca, whoever this is here, uh, give her some points so she can back up too. Start getting a little bit of damage on that guy right away. Okay, I'll set Ivan. Give me an overwatch up this way, too. And you also give me an overwatch on both of these guys. Whoever stands up first gets it, I guess. Okay, Carlos, you can come up into here. Oh, come on. Oh, it's just a worm. Okay. I was worried that that was a uh, mind fragger. Here and we're gonna give Isabella a bit of a hand. Not that she needs it necessarily, but uh um, you know what? This is probably good enough. Okay. This it might be it. Yep, that's it. Base is ours. Pretty good. A little acid grenade at the beginning there. That's going to cost us a little bit to repair, but all right. And we're back. We got the Raven that dropped. New base online. Uh, what's the cost on the bench? Oh, it's it's cheap to repair. No problem. Propeller legs took a little damage too on uh, Camila. Nothing, nothing to write home about. Pretty cheap all in all. 
Pretty cheap all in all. Okay, we need to get all this stuff repaired because we can. That's not cheap though, is it? Access lift. We No, I don't want to demolish it. It's actually positioned very well. Okay, energy generator. I want to get a mist repeller going here as well. And we need a satellite uplink. Construction complete. Okay, that's done. Um, we're actually doing okay for time here. These guys are moving. These guys are all moving. They're going to be down there. That's probably going to be our next mission, I would imagine. So let's just uh, roll these guys on the geoscape just a little bit here. Okay, we're here. Could do the Living Crystal Lapidary, too. I'm not going to do it today because we don't have time for that necessarily, but... Uh, Where else we at here? Okay, the bounty hunters uh, have arrived as well. Okay, they're here. Um, I'm going to probably get this base opened up, and that's probably what we're going to do in the next episode. We're going to let Charlie handle that same situation that we were just in. Uh, I think that's going to probably be the next, the first thing that we do in the next episode. I think we're just going to kind of cut this one short because we don't have much that... Uh, we can do in the time that we've got left. So if you've enjoyed this episode, do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.